All right, so winter is here, and I'm not trying to get caught lacking, so I went ahead and picked up this ATV plow from Colpin. It's a universal plow. It fits pretty much any four-wheeler out there, so it's made to fit Yamaha, Polaris, Honda, um, whatever you have, can am And the cool thing about it is it's adjustable, so you could do 48 inches or 60 inches in width, which is also pretty cool if you have, like, a sidewalk you want to clean or your driveway. You could pick the width that you want to use. So... So all the parts are in this box here and it's pretty compact so everything does need to be assembled. And getting into it, the parts all feel pretty nice and heavy duty. This plow feels pretty solid. Um, honestly I wasn't sure what to expect with it being kind of a lower end plow, but it feels pretty solid. It, these pieces feel like they're going to hold up pretty well. The framing also feels good. It seems like they didn't really skimp on the metal which is really good. Everything's heavy, everything's thick, it doesn't seem like it's going to bend. And the cool thing is, uh, I've been paying attention to the powder coating. Powder coating seems really good. No exposed metal or anything that I've seen. Seems like they did a really good job. And the thickness of the metal is good, like I said. And then here's the manual, of course. It has the instructions on how to assemble everything and how to mount it to different ATVs. Assembly was pretty straightforward, and I mainly followed the video that Colpin makes, which I'll leave a link down below for. And periodically I checked the manual for what type of bolt needs to be used for what part, and it took me about an hour or two to put everything together without really much hassle. Alright, so I got the plow like this, already all set up, and if you have a Polaris 850, this is a 2019 850. This is what the underneath looks like. This is how I did mine. I ran these two uh, U-bolts through like that. I drilled a hole in the skid plate a little bit using one of these drill bits, but you could use just like a three quarter inch or something. And you wanna go a little bit closer to this part right here. As you can see, I missed a little bit, but here I did a little better because there's a frame rail that runs right there. So once you get that through, um, I also had to unbolt these just to check that there's nothing back there. So you want to be really careful not to drill into your engine or anything. But once you get that, you run them through, and then the other two will go just like that. Excuse the mess. And that's how it looks from the bottom. I just noticed I never really showed how it mounts to the bottom of the quad after those U-bolts. So here it is. Those U-bolts attach to this bracket right here, which you make according to the instructions. And this is how it looks for the Polaris 850, but it does look different from, for different quads. And once this bracket is on, you lift the plow up and you put these bolts in and then the pins in to keep it in. So there's one on this side, one on that side as well as the winch here. So two points of contact underneath and then this one right here. And usually I have it out and I just lift it up once it's hooked on. But if you need to take it off, all you need to do is lower the winch. Just like that. And then unhook it. Let it out a little more. Hook it. Put the wind back in. Sounds crunchy. And then I go underneath, and pull the pins out. There's one. And then on the other side, same thing. And then what I like to do is kind of use my boot, just get it under there. Shake it around a little bit. Actually, I might even have to use this hammer a little bit. It's usually easier than this. It's just all frozen up from being outside. But it's a real world scenario. I might as well show you. So I found this thing. I didn't have a punch. This was just on the windowsill. And then I'm gonna use a hammer right here with a edge like that. So put it in and then just give it a nice little tap. I'm kidding. Just use a hammer with a tip. Usually we don't have to do this, it's just if it's frozen. 
which is actually the first time this happened. Okay, so just got that one out and same thing on the other side. Sorry about this getting all messy at the end, but basically just wanted to make sure I show you guys how that connects because I was really curious when I was buying it. So hopefully that's helpful and I'll update you guys with some plowing videos very soon.